Hello, my name is Jody Holtra, and I am a dissemination and implementation researcher and have been using REAIM for about 15 years. For the next few minutes, I'd like to talk about a couple of uh, common REAIM misconceptions and where you can find resources on the REAIM website to discuss these misconceptions. So here is the website. Um, the first thing is to look under resources and tools. There are a couple of recommended uh, slide presentations. So recommended reading slides for presentations. If you click on that and go to the bottom of that page, there are two slide sets that you can download. One has to do with definitions, the first one here, um, of the reading dimensions. And the second one has to do with common misconceptions. So that's one place you can find some information about misconceptions. Another is that you can notice over here in the search tab, if I type in clarifications, it brings me to a paper here, Understand Applying the REAIM Framework. If you click on that paper, this is the latest information as of September, 2021, um, that uh, clarifies 13 common misconceptions about using REAIM. So that's another place that you can go to get clarifications. To discuss a few common misconceptions, let's go to papers, talks, and blogs, and then go under key articles and guidance. So if you click on that, there's a chronico chronological list of all kinds of papers that uh, discuss how to use REAIM and how REAIM has evolved over time. If we go down here to 2018, there's a, a paper here by Glasgow that talks about practical applications. And this paper talks about how you can use Reaim for planning and not just for outcomes, which is a common misconception. Right below that is another paper by Holtrup um, looking at qualitative approaches to use of Reaim, which is another common misconception is that Reaim is only quantitative. Another uh, misconception is that uh, Reaim does not address health equity issues. So I went back up here to the search tab and put in equity. And you can see that the top paper here discusses the implementation uh, science use of REAIM for health equity issues, which is increasingly important in our research. I'll just talk about one more if we go to the home page, and that is that um, REAIM does not address contextual factor. So it's only looking at outcomes instead of what might cause those outcomes. So if you look on the home page, you'll see that it's redesigned to talk about REAIM and PRISM. PRISM is the practical robust implementation and sustainability model, and it has been expanded to help address contextual factors that influence outcomes. So you can see there is what is REAIM and what is PRISM. And if you go down to the bottom, there's a section on what is PRISM and how it addresses multi-level contextual factors relevant to outcomes. I hope this quick overview has been helpful and you can utilize this information in your research. Thank you.